Welcome back to another episode of Griff Lens, our Sal playthrough. Right now, we just finished that prisoner exchange mission. It's day two. We're looking pretty good. Our resolve's a little low, but it's not too bad that we're going to end up with any real issues. Let's go ahead. We'll see the map and see what is going on. We have... Everyone likes us. I would really like to make one of these people love us. So actually, he doesn't give me the option. Sometimes you can pay them. Authorization. Once a day, a member from Admirality will help you in combat or negotiation. For 150 shills. That might be worth it, actually. But it is from Admiral. I think I'm going to go for it. I have the money. We'll go for it. Cool. So that'll be a good bonus to have in future fights. Let's see what we have going on. We have Silence Arrival. Lasku is offering you money to lay down uh, to lay a beat down on Anawa. I feel like I keep seeing the name Anawa, and I don't want to lay a beat down on anyone that likes me. Anawa. Anawa. See, I keep seeing the name Anwa, but we haven't done anything with someone named Anwa, so I don't know. Treat your pet. Ooh, I could upgrade my pet. That's probably what I'm actually going for. Yeah, we're going for the pet. 100% have to go for the pet. Uh, let's train him. So if you train him, he's right now an untrained rock. And if you train him to become a trained rock, he gives you additional bonuses in both combat and in negotiation. So we're going to go for that. Increases Trick's health damage and will also help negotiations once trained. Awesome. So now he is a trained rock. That's awesome. I love it. I also got him that bonus for health, so that's going to be really good. So we have this one. Uh, Koki. Lent Heelite. Oh, 144 shales. Retrieve the money. If you can, make an example of Heelite to make Koki happy. Bounty, the Admirality has issued a bounty on Heft. There's a 50 shills bonus if you bring her in alive. See, I don't want to work for the Admirality. I'm thinking this is the only mission I can really do. But I don't know who Koki or Helit is. But we're going to go for that one, I think. Well, not if I run into something on the way. A Grifter, a uh, fractionless person, solders towards you a scheme burning brightly in their eyes. Oh, it's Rook! So, Rook is someone you can play in a different playthrough. He's a different playable character. Greetings, friend. Your timing is excellent. I have business offers if your blades are for sale. No scam, just a simple protection job. You see, I'm being tailed by an assassin. It's fine. Oh, yeah, we're going to help him. I'll give you 300 shills. He is part of... Ritorians. I don't think we've run into any Ritorians in our whole playthrough thus far. I'm going quick. We have Cult, Cult, Spree, more Cult, Jake's Smugglers, Jake's Bartender, Spree, Admirality, Spree, Civilian, Admirality, and Spark Baron. It's the. Yeah. So actually, no, we haven't. Oh, it just... Oh, crap. It's a straight-up fight. It's a boss fight. Praetorian's Hunter. Well, that's uh not exactly what we wanted. One second. Praetorian's Hunter. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we have no option. I didn't think that I would just throw us into a fight. But, let's do it. So, right off the bat, he's dealing 6 to me. I don't think he takes damage the first turn. Then he deals 4 to him. So, I think we go for this one, because applying bleed's great. Whenever you apply bleed, apply one... Oh, wait, no. We don't want that. I don't really have the cards right now. So, I'm going to apply a shield to myself. Go for one hit. And... Apply a shield to Rook. I didn't expect a boss bat. That made his power stronger. 
Oh, man. Okay, well, we'll go for this. So the bleed's huge. Oh, that weakened his power, actually. Oh. So we could go for this. You know what? I'm just going to defend myself and work on trying to stay healthy because this isn't... So every day you have a boss battle, and the fact this isn't the main boss battle scares the crap out of me. Uh, when this card is drawn, draw another card. And destroy after one use. Okay. Gain two defense increases by two for each card played this turn. Oh. Well. Let's do that. We'll try and get some real damage in on him. Do some bleed. And I'm, the reason I did so many cards is because it keeps counting as drawn cards. Apply one cripple. Gain two combo, draw a card, discard a card. We'll go for the cripple. Now we'll go for a solid stab. And I'm going to apply 14 <laughs> defense. I guess it doesn't really matter when you overdo it so much, but... All the bleeds and wounds are really good, obviously. Um, He's not even attacking this turn, so spending a turn to summon a bot might be good. So we're going to do that. We're going to go for the... Oh, the power. We'll go for the wound to try and really get some uh, good damage in. And then the two attacks will both also help with the wound. And I think we kill him next turn. Hopefully. Oh yeah, he's dead next turn. Perfect. But just in case, we'll apply some bleed. Oh man. Oh yeah, he's a uh, assassin. So we have a rule, no assassins live. Let's go, baby. Let's go. What a way to start the episode. Let's restore some resolve. Let's collect some shills. We got a new negotiation card. What was that? War story. Oh wow, this is this is really new. So you flip your lucky coin. Heads and snails. Funny. Uh, if you get heads, you gain five influence. If you get tails, you gain four dominance. So either way, that is an insane card. Although the dominance doesn't really help us in a uh, in a diplomacy deck, but we have a couple dominance cards, so it's okay. But either way, you're winning. Either way, that's an insane card. Let's see what we got. We have an upgrade to our stab. Four to five or attack twice. Four to five. This turns it to four to eight. Why would you not do this over four to five? Yeah, you have to go attack twice without question. I cannot think of a reason you wouldn't. Uh, finisher, gain one combo. Eh. See, I hate that I'm getting all these combo cards. See, now I think I should have gone a combo deck. Gain one combo per combo. See, the fact it is four to six, either way, you're kind of winning. Because that's a lot of damage with the card. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go for that. Thank you, friend. I could have handled that myself but I would have risked breaking a sweat you're a jerk Rook heads off deeper into murder bay carrying more baggage than a packed domestic snail okay well cool there we go we just beat a freaking boss didn't expect that so now let's go back to debt collection because I don't want to work for admirality What is it? You? We're in the ad. We're in the uh, admirality bar. This guy already loves me. I could, if anyone had like a really good bonus, you can buy them drinks here, and get the bonus. But nobody likes me, so there's really no, really no reason. So let's do the mission. Uh, the deck collection. Oh, wait one second. Does he have buy a, a house special? Noodles, zesty noodles. 
See, all these are one-time uses, so I usually don't even consider them. Maybe if I had... It, well, 576 shills is a lot of money at this point in the playthrough. So, you could argue that it might be worth it. But, we're not going to worry about that just yet. So, let's go ahead and do this. And see if we can find the guy he wants. Hilt. Oh, it's Admirality. Oh, this is a joke. I lent Hilt 144 shills. They're past due and paying me back. Well, then... I got you, bud. We will go make a... Ooh. Two to eight, one random. Well, I really like that card, so we're going with that. Done. Let's go find our man. I don't like him anyway, so... Dang it. You hear... You hear a bustle from the hedge... Gro from the hedgerow. Oh, it's just a couple animals. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, we'll go for the random. And then... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go for the random. Okay, and they both apply it to the right person. We should have done this first. Rookie, rookie. So then I guess we'll go for this. And then we'll go for the four to six. And he should be dead. Cool. Bye, buddy. And he's going to make him run away. Let's go, baby. Nice job, bud. We got some free resolve there, and we got another card. Draw a card. Discard this card. Your attack deals max damage this turn. That's kind of worthless. Draw three cards. Gain two counter. Eh. Spend three combo. Gain one action point. See, what I'm thinking is if you upgrade it, it might be a really good card. I just don't see me upgrading all these cards. I don't know. Maybe I'm... I might... I have so many shills. Maybe we stop at the, uh, at the shop and buy a couple cards. But I just don't want to take these crap cards. We are in a bar where nobody likes us, which is bad. But nobody hates us either, so that's good. Okay, well, let's try it. It's hard to believe he has a reputation for being a bit of a Casanova. But then, you always were immune to such charms. Keep on the good side of Admirality and your livelihood will benefit them all the more for it. Well, you owe my boy money, so uh, I won't be on the good side of Admirality. One, we can convince him. Or we could fight him. I think we go to try and convince him. Because I think we'll just kick his butt in a conversation. And I don't really want to lose much more health. So. Yeah. We're going to convince him. And we get a bonus because the dog is friendly now. Which is awesome. So one. We want to work on keeping this high. So we don't lose that. Then we're going to go for just hard swinging out. We do that. We do that. And we go for the five. Oh, man. Gain two in... There's no reason to use that. Not that I can think of. And then the dog does damage too. So he does literally nothing. That's awesome. Right here, we go to obviously swing for that. And then maybe we try and save the dog here. I think we save the dog conversation. And... I guess we threaten. Yeah, he does gonna do nothing. I think we win this turn. This is a joke.
We rolled low, but the dog's gonna get him, so that's fine. And we rolled a one. Let's go, baby! Let's go! We have mastered the conversation at this point, which is a surprise, because they almost never run like a talking run, but it's just going so well. How do I not? So let's do this upgrade. So the upgrades is... The normal card is when this card is drawn, deal 1 damage to a random target and gain 1 influence. Unplayable. Deal 3 damage to a random target, or... Deal 1 damage and gain 2 influence. We're doing 3 damage, because we... I feel like we don't deal... We do deal a lot of damage. Okay, let's see what this one is. We have draw 3 cards, 1 influence. Or draw... Or the same thing, but we deal 5 damage. Definitely dealing 5 damage. And then we upgraded one of our threatens, which we just don't use them much. But, that's fine. Gain 1 dominance. I don't really care about dominance. Because we don't have enough cards to make dominance worth it. So we will go for the 3 and 4. Cool. And we got a free negotiation card. Gain 2 composure on a random argument. Ar argument is what I said. Argument. Increase by 1 for each card you played this turn. It's random though, which is the problem. Attack one random target once for each enemy argument and bounty. I don't love that's random. I might draw it. I'm just never going to play it. Okay. Thank you, bud. I'm happy I didn't have to kill you, and I'm happy we are still neutral. So let's go uh, return the money. Oh, is he going to be mad I didn't beat him up? Wait, convince Coat you sent Hilt a message. Oh, or you could just deliver it and tell him we didn't convince him, but we want him to love us. So I think we're trying to convince him here. He's taking five right off the bat. I don't want this dying, so that's going to deal 5 damage. It's going to end up with 1 health. I think I might kick the game, kick the round off with an Improvise. I'm going to kick the round off with an Improvise and see what we draw. We drew crap. Uh, one Flustered reduces dam- Oh, well, well, I guess we can do that. We'll throw up a fluster. Go for five damage. Spend one influence. I don't have any influence. Yeah, we're just going to go swing heavy then. And then we'll go for the threaten. And we rolled high on that. And there's no reason to gain influence. Oh, we cost zero. We could have used it. We might have rolled a little higher, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Enemy's turn. He does nothing. And he's still... Oh, the fluster's dead at the end of the turn. What is this? Uh, target an opponent's argument, one damage. Okay, I'm not going to destroy that. I think we just... Mm, okay, we're going to try and defend this so it doesn't die this turn, obviously. Now I'm going to go for gain three composure on a random... There's no reason for more composure at this point. So we're going to swing high as we can roll. Not much there. I guess we try and draw a card. We don't need more composure on anything. So we go for the 3 to 5 threaten. Oh baby, next turn we win. No way you swing heavy enough to kill us next turn, right? What is this? Yeah, no way you swing heavy enough. So we're going to go for... Once we gain the influence, we can then uh, duplicate the plead card. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I taught him a lesson. I taught him I beat the crap out of him. I didn't just talk him out of the money. I rocked him. Okay, let's see what we got. We got 
Oh, this one destroys the card, so we're not going for that. So we're going for the apply six composure and expend, which means the card doesn't show up in my deck anymore for that round. But destroy means the card's out of my deck forever. So we will go for the six composure and expend. Oh wait, I had one more card to upgrade. And we have a threaten to upgrade. Which once again, if I could get the three to four, attack with this card twice. So it only deals two to four. Right? Yeah, why would I do that? Yeah, there's no reason to do that. Cool. Oh, okay. The reason you would do it is if you... Wait. Is if you killed someone, I guess you could deal one to two damage to the next person too. It's just, it's just, there's no, there's no like w point in it really. Remove target's composure and it does three to four damage. We have Brainstorm, which has to draw three cards. Gain one extra card at the start of your turn. That might be worth it. All right, all right. Yeesh, didn't realize you to paint that picture. So, versarily? Versarily? Cool. Pity about the money, though. Paid you 50 shills. Awesome. And we will... Well, everything's maxed at this point. We'll go for health. That's cool. Thanks, bud. Oh, and if we restore an additional four resolve when drinking. I don't really care about that. Although the money would be nice to spend, I just don't care about it. So, we are going to go ahead and... Actually, that's a good place to call it. So, we're going to call this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next episode... One, we're going to that roadside market. Next episode, we are going to be ending day two. I'm really excited with how this game's going. I think this is one of my better playthroughs of it. We're ending up with all the card upgrades. Almost no people hate us. So we have like no downsides. And everyone just keeps loving us. So I imagine this might, I might win it this run. It's going to take a little bit, but I think I might win it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see all of you in the next episode. Bye guys.